USG Ishimura. This is gotta appreciate that uh that USG G Ishimura. It's really uh beautiful. Goddamn. Isaac Clark. What have you got, Isaac? Half the Ishimura's in the red. Here's that uh gunner right that I'm excited for. Shit, I can't believe he's coming back to actually voice them. I'm kind of curious though, like, are we actually gonna get a Dead Space 2 if this does really well? I'm like, I'm excited. This is Senior Medical Officer Nicole Brennan. Medical is overwhelmed. Different voice actor for Nicole. Help. Goddamn. Those hallways, and oh. It's our first Necromorph. Yeah, they still look terrifying. You gotta love how they're uh, adopting that that zero G mechanics from Dead Space Two and Three. I'm fucking, I'm on board for that. I don't mind. Contact beam, flamethrower, crawlers are coming back, well, of course. I wonder what that cutscene is going to be about. Or if that's just a death animation, who knows. God damn, I'm biting. Looking thugly. Oh. Looks even more awful, gross looking than usual. Shit. Make us whole, huh? We'll be made fools to talk. With. Or without you. Isaac, it's me. It's all falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. Nicole? Shit. You know, personally, it looks really fucking good. Let me go back. It looks really fucking good. Um, shit, honestly, I'm like, like blown away. It's like, it just reminds me of like, back when I played Dead Space 1 when I was younger. I mean, you still look at those graphics and say, God damn, but this, this takes a cake. Now, I am excited that Gunner Wright is coming back to reprise his role as Isaac Clark. Like I said, that that's pretty cool in all honesty, and I've been keeping track with some of the, the with like their little tech, their little tech previews, how when you shoot a part of the necromorph it's like their body like just kind of rips off and well i mean unless you could take off the limbs but like they're it's like shooting them and like you know all the mass is just goes away so it's like they're all skinny now and like it's just bone which is pretty cool good new feature but i wonder i wonder if they're gonna add more like as they were saying like different necromorph like variations so i wonder if they're all not gonna look like the same like two or three skins that they had back in dead space one that was gonna be cool and i mean even then it's like the attention to detail on this game has kind of blown me away it's like goddamn. and then you know it's like you got the crawlers you have the slashers and then there was a part in here where the brute oh yeah the brute comes out see if I can go back to it. The brood, I was like, holy shit. I mean, all the, all the, ugh, fucking hell. I have like all the, um, the sparks, you know, the little things that come flying out, all the particles. Sorry, I'm like, still waking up. I got like, shaky hands right now. I mean, like I said, I mean, this looks amazing. It looks gross. I mean, like I said, Necromorphs, I, I'd always pit, I'd always imagine from just playing the games that they're not really like, they're not slimy, they're more like, it's like, like, war like, they're probably like really like warm and, like warm and like, I guess, uh, fucking, like warm and like wet compared to like what we got in the Callisto Protocol where they look sick, like they're, like they're all like, you know, freaking bloated and got pus and mucus hanging from their fucking mouths and shit and like that. Personally for me, I'd rather take Necromorphs over where the fuck's going on in Callisto Protocol because like, if I had to fight that, you know, in a real life scenario. But, 
That's just, and that's what I like is that we're getting like all these um, sci-fi horror games now. Like we're getting Scorn, we're getting Routine, and uh, Callisto Protocol, which I'm really excited for. And you know, it's like back in the day, we only got like Alien Isolation and Dead Space Two and Three. And I mean, that was really it. I mean, if you want to count Soma too, then yeah. But like I said, a lot of these games, I'm actually excited for to come out, and hopefully. In the near future, we get more. Like, uh, also, Negative Atmosphere is making a return too, and I'm really excited for that one. Because remember, I thought to myself, I'm like, I think this is going to be the only spiritual successor to Dead Space. And then when Callisto Protocol came out, but we shouldn't look at these games as like a competition of which one's better. We should look at these as like, you know, this genre is fi this genre is finally getting a, a lot of love for once, and the fact that we're getting more games out there, and I like that. And hopefully, in the near future, we can get more. And more and more, you know, indie developers or, you know, people want to make more games like this. Because, you know, it's always fun to explore the unknown. And maybe one day we can get, like, a cosmic horror game. Just throwing that out there. If it could be, like, Blood Machines or, uh... Blood Machines or, like, uh... Fuck, what was the other one? Or Zygote? Zygote's another good short film. Uh, you should probably go check that out. Whoever watches this, it's a pretty interesting... Interesting story. But... That's kind of all I have for today. Um, I'm just going to wrap it up. I'm still kind of feeling like terrible. And, you know, hopefully I'll feel a little bit better. By the time this video gets dropped, I'm going to be working on a few other videos with some uh, with some soup just sitting on my side. And I'll just I'll hand the video back to other me who is giving their thoughts and opinions on Dead Space Remake. So I'll be out of here right now. Later. In the day when... Sorry, my only, my only taste of getting like a horror game like this was probably like, shit, like back on the 360. Like there was this like old indie game called Saturn 9, which kind of fucked with your, fucked with your controls and sometimes, and it fucked with your Xbox, giving you an error code message saying you're running out of air and oxygen. And there was even a part in there where it even tells you that, like your gamer tag, and it says like the gravestone and like what day you'll die. Well, it was that date, but. That was kind of the charm of it, because it fucked with you. And especially since it was a short game, but it, was, it still did the trick for like, I think like, f like four or five bucks. I still liked it. But if I can find it, I'll play through it and show you what I mean. But overall, I mean, Dead Space Remake, this looks so promising. Um, are we going to get multiplayer? No. Never. <laughs> I feel like that was just such a... That was a one-time thing, and... We'll never get anything like that, but the Leviathan, god damn. Leviathan reminds me of this monster from this other short film that's called the Zygote. Things like made up of like, you know, different like bones, other humans, and it just looks gross. <laughs> to me, this looks like nightmare fuel. So like I said, the dev team over there at, uh, I think they're called like Motive or something. They're doing a really f good fucking job with this game. And I'm excited to play it, honestly. I mean, it just kind of sucks that a lot of the old voice actors aren't coming back to reprise the rules, but I can get past that. I'm not really tripping about it. And God, dude, Isaac's suit looks just so amazing. And which raises the question, too, is I wonder if they'll have new surprises for us, like new areas to go to and new places to, you know, explore. And maybe, you know, some cut content, like enemies from game the Dead Space one that didn't make it. Like, remember there was a... It wasn't like a slasher, but it was like a... It was like a whole torso that clings onto the fucking ceiling. And it had a tentacle come out from its stomach and it'd like lash at you. So I wonder if they have like cut enemies coming back. Or maybe enemies from Dead Space Extraction or hell, like... Maybe we'll get to see some pukers or something from Dead Space 2. To kind of throw us off, but like I said, any... Any surprise like that's welcome. And, I mean, shit, dude. I'm excited. Um, fucking pre-order bonuses. I mean, I'll have to look into that. But besides that, I mean, that's all I really have, so. Hope you guys enjoyed. And also, I like how the CEC, they have, like, this weird, like, little shoulder piece and shoulder-mounted flashlight. We see Hammond. Unfortunately, he's not going to last too long unless, you know, hey, subvert my expectations, change it up. But we'll see. Oh, also being able to re to revisit the. How was it called? Being able to revisit the uh, 
what was it called? The US the USM Valor, there we go. That's gonna be a trip. Like I wonder if like they'll show more or go in depth like what happened there or if they're just gonna leave it to the cutscene where that guy gets his head chopped off and it's just left to input left to imply and like, you know, kinda imagine what happened, but we'll see. But overall I'm liking it. I'm also ready to see the hunter again. Let's just hope that the plasma cutter I mean it probably is, but We'll see if they add new guns or new weapons to use. I mean, if they're they're throwing in the the anti gravity system from Dead Space 2, then like I said, there's gonna be some more shit going on, which I'm excited. I mean, until then, I'll just leave it leave it after this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.